okay so in today's session we are going to discuss about workflows okay we were discussing about workflows right Okay, so in the workflow, we have few other activities left, guys. In the workflow, we, we have few other activities left. Okay, so if is for conditions, if is for conditions, approval action, or approval status, Or approval status approval user to send approvals to individuals to send approvals to individuals okay and we have discussed about um, catalog task So it is used to create record on C underscore task table. Notification. To send emails. Create event. To send emails, to send system notifications, okay, a run script. So run script is used to write any server side script, to write any server side script, okay. And we have set values. Okay, set values means, so we have created workflow on the requested item table. We have created workflow on the requested item table. Then, to set the values on requested item, to set values on requested item record, we will use set values. Okay, and this is what we have used in our uh, previous session. Workflow editor. So to edit the workflow, which is in public state, we have to check out. Guys. We have to check out. Okay. Now, so here it is taking department is there or not. If the department is there, we are keeping the state as requested. Then we are sending the approval to department head. Then we are marking it as approved. We are creating one task here. We are creating one task. What if, if I have to create multiple tasks? What if, if I have to create four tasks? 
okay if i have to create four tasks then what am i doing is i am just copying this activity Okay. So I have to create these four tasks at a time. Okay, we'll just rename it. these four tasks should be created at a time guys okay these four tasks should be created at a time once all these four tasks are closed once all the four tasks are closed only then workflow should move forward only then the workflow should move forward so in that case guys wait for condition activity will not work wait for wait for condition uh, wait for condition checkbox right i told you yesterday so this wait for condition checkbox will work only when it is only one catalog tasks okay if it is only one catalog task this wait for completion will work if there are if the workflow has to wait for multiple tasks at a time if the workflow has to wait for multiple tasks okay then what we have to do is we have to use join activity branch activity and join activity so i am using branch activity here okay one two three four so these four tasks will be created so here the workflow will not wait for all the four tasks get closed if there is only one task the workflow will wait if there are multiple tasks workflow will not wait okay so in that case i am using join activity here so remember this point if there are multiple catalog tasks if there are multiple catalog tasks if the workflow has to wait for multiple catalog tasks okay Join. Join. 
this join activity will wait for the multiple tasks get closed once all the tasks get closed it will move forward once all the tasks get closed it will move forward we'll do one thing do you understand about the uh, join activity guys what exactly it does and all Okay. If the workflow has to wait for these four tasks, we have to use join activity, guys. Okay. Let me just give a try on this one. Let me click on try it here. If you take a look at the workflow here, now the workflow is waiting for the approval here. Okay. Once it is approved, once it is approved, it is creating four tasks. You can see mobile task, laptop task, finance task, ID card task. Now the workflow will wait for all the tasks get closed. Now the workflow will be waiting for all the tasks get closed. Okay. It is waiting for the four tasks. What am I doing is, first of all, I am closing one task here. I am closing one task here. Okay, I closed one task here. Now you can, we can see where exactly the workflow is waiting. Still the join activity is waiting for the other three tasks get closed. Once all the tasks are closed, once all the tasks are closed,
okay once all the tasks are closed what is it doing it is the join activity has moved forward it has sent an email it has closed the requested item it has closed the requested item so guys here if we have to wait for multiple tasks get closed then it is better to use join activity okay okay Well, let me submit the catalog form again. Well, let me submit the catalog form again. Okay. So once it is approved, what happens? It will create four tasks, right? You can see here, guys. Apart from these automatically created tasks, I can create one manual task here. I can create one manual task. Admin task. Application development tool. Okay. So apart from these automatically created three, the automatically created these four tasks, so I can create one manual task as well. I can create manual task as well on this requested item. The problem is that the workflow will not wait for the manual task get closed. The problem here is that the workflow will not wait for the manual task get closed. Okay. So in that case, in that case, we have to go for another activity called wait for condition activity. We have to go for wait for condition activity. Instead of join activity, we have to go for wait for condition activity. Now, what am I doing is, I am going to remove this join activity from here. We should be very careful, guys, when we are removing the activity. Because it will get attached to some other activity, so that flow will be so I am using wait for condition activity. Wait for condition activity. This wait for condition activity will wait for manual tasks as well as automatically created tasks. So here you have to write the script here, guys. Okay. Answer is equal to true. Where G R. Okay. C underscore task table. The catalog I'm I'm putting the catalog task table. Okay. The catalog task table or request item. Request item will be current dot. So here current refers to 
current refers to requested item current object refers to requested item okay Active. No record is active. No record is active. Okay. Then answer is equal to two. Else answer is equal to false. So what am I doing is if I'm querying the database. I'm querying the table in the database to the current current associated requested item. If no record active, then go ahead. Else, wait for it. Answer is equal to false means wait. Answer is equal to true means go ahead. Okay. So then what happens? This activity will wait for all the tasks including manual tasks. Okay. Now we will try to submit the catalog item again. Now you can see, once I approve this one, it is creating four tasks. I am creating one manual task. The workflow has to wait for this manual task as well. workflow has to wait for this particular manual task as well what am i doing is i am going to just see the workflow status here okay first of all what am i doing is i am closing all the automatically created tasks these four tasks are automatically created i am closing out Now you can see the workflow is still waiting or not. Somehow it did not wait. What did I write here? Okay, there is a mistake in the script that I wrote here. Here it should be current dot CCID.
you can see now it is actually waiting for the manual task now it is waiting for the manual task all the automatically created tasks are completed it is waiting for the manual task once manual task is closed once manual task is closed then it will move forward okay now you can see now the workflow has moved forward wait for condition activity is will wait for all the tasks get closed guys if you want to write uh, uh, if there are advanced conditions okay if there are any advanced condition you can use wait for condition activity okay hope you understand there is another activity called there is another activity called wait for workflow event okay let me just uh, remove this one so like you have um, notification events we have workflow events guys we have workflow event wait for workflow event okay wait for workflow event ritm dot close dot task okay this is the event name okay this is the event name okay till this event is fired the workflow will be waiting here till this event is fired the workflow will be waiting here okay so you have to fire this event the event name i have already copied this is the event name this event you have to fire it using broadcast event Okay, you have to use this line. You have to use this line. Here, this this uh, event name you have to copy. This event name you have to copy. So you you will use this line to fire the workflow event. You can use this line from any server side script. Like you can use this line in the business room. You can use like this line in the, the scheduled job. You can use this line anywhere uh, in the uh, server side script, guys. Now, what am I doing is I am going to submit the uh, catalog form again.
here even if you close all the tasks even if you close any manual task work will be waiting for the event to be fired okay the workflow will be waiting for the event to be fired respective of task closure okay now we will open the workflow now it is still waiting for the event to be fired all the manual tasks are closed automatic tasks are closed and still it is waiting for the event to be fired now what am i doing is this context system id i have to take this context has system id to get this context system id go to all contacts the all contacts what is the requested item number 10016 so take this particular context system id and use this one here so i am going to run this line from the background script event is fired event is fired now we'll go and refresh this particular flow now the event is fired and the workflow is now now has moved forward the workflow has now moved forward you understand so the workflow will wait for workflow will wait till this event is fired once the event is fired once the event is fired the workflow will move forward this line is used to fire the workflow event guys new workflow dot broadcast event okay new workflow dot broadcast event context system id and the event name you can use this line of script in any server side scripting such as um, server side ui actions business rules scheduled jobs uh, email scripts uh, script actions uh any server side script you can use it okay you getting my point okay well here you understand about the work wait for workflow event as well now we will understand now we will understand some other activities in the workflow i am just removing this wait for workflow event so guys uh, here what we are doing once uh, the um, manager has uh, once the department head has approved we are creating catalog tasks <laughs> instead of catalog tasks i want to create i want to wait for i want to create incident records i want to create incident records i want to create problem record so instead of these catalog tasks i want to create incidents i want to create problems i want to create change request okay so guys remember this point here on the task based records on the task based records task based records in the sense um task based records in the sense 
uh what do we say let me just go to the tables these are the task based tables the tables which are extending task table so you can create uh, records on these tables using an activity called create task activity instead of this catalog task i am removing this catalog task here i am using an activity called the create task activity this wait for completion activity will wait for all the incident uh, this wait for completion uh, checkbox will wait for the incident incident get closed so you can create using this activity you can create the record on any table which is extending task table okay just incident if you want to fill all the incident field values you have to use advanced checkbox so task table, task object refers to incident field values task dot task dot category is equal to software okay task dot sub category is equal to email so likewise you can fill all the incident field values using task object okay okay here tell me guys do we have to use join activity or do we have to use wait for condition activity to get all the incidents get closed which one is good one join activity or wait for condition activity or wait for workflow event which one is good practice Tell me, guys. Is my voice audible? So, which one is good practice here? Join activity or join activity or wait for condition or wait for workflow event? Which one is good practice here? Hey, nobody is answering. Nobody is able to understand.
wait for workflow event okay wait for workflow event is okay see here in this case you need to understand three conditions if the workflow has to wait for manually created incidents as well then you have to go for wait for condition beyond that if there is any advanced condition we have to use wait for workflow event so in this case in this case i can go for join activity that is all that is fine Okay. So here, this time it will not create the catalog task, it will create the incident space. So where do we see incidents that are created? Where do we see that incidents that are created? For that, we will add a related list here. We'll add a related list here. Click configure related list. You can see four incidents are created. Now the workflow will wait for these four incidents get closed. Now the workflow will wait for these four incidents get closed. Okay. Now once I close all these incidents. Okay. Once I close all these incidents. Then the workflow will move forward. Okay, first we'll fill resolution code and notes. Now we can close it.
Oke. Okay. you can see now the workflow has actually moved forward and it has closed so instead of see guys uh, if you want to create the uh, records um, on the table which is extending task table then you can use create create uh, task activity in the workflow in the workflow you can use create task activity catalog task activity is used to create the record on the only on catalog task table create task activity is used to create the records on the tables which are extending task table but what if if the what if if you want to create the records which are not extending task table let us take user table so user table is not extending task table let us take knowledge table knowledge table is not extending uh, task table so if i have to create a record on those tables so that is where you have to use scripting guys so when you have when you have to create a, a, a record using script you have to use run script activity you have to use an activity called run script activity. Using this run script activity, you can create the records. Create knowledge particular. Okay. Uh, how to create the record using script tell you are clear right everyone how to create the record using script tell everybody is clear or not yeah, then you will use glide record here okay then you will use glide record here you can use glide record to create the uh, record on the table using run script activity using run script activity okay so now i am just uh, closing all these tasks Can just use run script activity here. Create a record. Create user. Okay. So you have to write a glide record. You can just change the table name and field names here so that you can create a record on that particular table. <coughs> okay. Okay. So to wait for this particular one, to wait for the, uh, see this is a user account you don't have to wait for it so let us say if you are creating if you are creating any other record <clears throat> if you are creating any other record uh, if you have to wait for that one then you have to use uh, if, if if activity or wait for condition activity in that case you have to use either if activity or wait for condition activity so here you are using you are creating the user account using scripting so let us say once it is approved user account has to be created 
then you will use a run script to create the user here. You understand, guys? <clears throat> Everyone? Okay. So after the approval, I'm creating a catalog task. Okay, the workflow has to wait for five minutes, guys. After the approval, workflow has to wait for five minutes. Okay. If the workflow has to wait for five minutes, then you have to use an activity called a timer activity. In the timer activity, you can specify the seconds, how many seconds you want to wait. Okay, I want to wait for, I want to wait for uh, 300 seconds. This is minutes, right? Mm. I want to wait for five minutes. Okay, you can wait for five minutes here. If you want to write the script here, you can also write the script. Time-based, relative duration, day time duration on field, and uh, script-based. So in the script-based means you have to mention seconds. I am doing 300 seconds here. So the workflow will wait for three, 300 seconds, and then it will create a catalog task. Okay. So I'm going to submit the catalog form again. Once it is approved, it will wait for 300 seconds. After waiting for 300 seconds, only then the catalog task will be created. After waiting for 300 seconds, only then the catalog task will be created. Okay. So there are some more activities that are left, guys, that we'll be discussing it in tomorrow's session. Okay. I think tomorrow we'll, we can finish workflow topic. And day of tomorrow, we'll be discussing about the record producers. But then we'll start about flow designers. Okay. Everyone. Is it? Are you able to understand this workflow concept, guys? Hmm? Okay. Okay, guys. We'll see you there in tomorrow's session. Thank you, everyone.